Hello, hope everyone's well. Uh, I'll do a, another TLC pattern for you, except this time we're going to incorporate a rib into the material or into the fly pattern. So we're starting off the same way we're going to run uh, the micro half round material. Uh, it's a vinyl D rib style material, it's very stretchy. And we'll just start at the catch, work our way back over top the material itself, just like you would a thread. cut off any excess. And now I'll add a holographic red tinsel. Uh, it's very small, it's about one mil in diameter, maybe smaller, half mil even. And it's, it's flat so it builds no bulk into the pattern at all. And we'll just start that with a couple of turns, pull the material into place. So just, oh, let's just back that off, try that again. I'm just going to pull it down into place so there's no tag end. It's all covered. And we'll proceed down the hook shank, removing any twists or turns in the micro half round as we progress. Again the whole idea is to keep it a very narrow thin profile. Pull the turns or twists out of the material. Keep it stretched and that will maintain that very slender profile. And come down back into the bend of the hook. If you wish, you can throw a half hitch in at this point to secure everything. And then we'll just do loose open turns progressing forward to create the rib of the pattern. And again, throw in a half hitch near the front. Secure that up. See where the tag has shown itself there on the tinsel. And now we'll follow with the tinsel. We'll just follow the open spacing of the rib to have a little bit of flash in there. So this I would use more so in a little bit of overcast days or possible days that have some sunlight but it's intermittent. A little bit of flash certainly doesn't hurt a pattern. But over over overdoing the flash um, at times can scare the fish off. So I try to keep this as narrow as possible. So three turns there. And we can cut the tinsel off and then go into a three knot whip finish to finish off the fly pattern. Keeping it all stretched and tight. And again, snip off the excess. We'll allow gravity to do some work for us by raising the fly the fly up in the vise and then applying some head cement which I've conveniently misplaced. Oops, sorry, there we are. So I find two coats of head cement is just sufficient. Um, you don't have to build a thick layer by any means of of head cement or even UV resins. Um, we just brush it off where if it were a little too thick and that gives us a nice little clear coat. And like I mentioned I'd, I'd probably run two coats most of the time but as long as it's all the way around um, you've got a very thin easy larval pattern uh, to work with. So from here if I wanted to build up into a pupil pattern 
all I would do is still run the same material, but I would build the thorax section up considerably more to imitate the pupil. And I'd step down a size um, as well. So we'll just redo this. And thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a great day.